friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about the structure of carpel. So how does the carpel look like and what all it consists of? A carpel basically consists of three most important part that is the ovary, the style and the stigma. Right? So this swollen portion at the base is ovary, this tube like structure is style and this topmost portion is stigma. Now other than this if you now look inside the ovary what all it has inside the ovary you would actually see this structure which you can see this circular structure which is nothing but ovule. So inside the ovary pres is present the ovule and even inside this ovule when you actually see you can see that there is I mean inside this ovule you again have the egg so inside the ovule you will have the egg and you also have two polar nuclei. Now I don't think I need to talk about all these things in detail because I have discussed about the process of sexual reproduction in plants in detail and there I have told you how these polar nuclei are formed, how the egg is formed, how do they fuse with the pollen grains and how reproduction takes place. So this, these polar nuclei and the egg they form the female gametes or the female sex cells. So basically the pollen grain will actually fuse with the egg and that is how fertilization will take place. So this is the overall structure of a carpel, right? Okay. So let us now quickly talk about the different parts of the carpel. So as I explained just in the previous slide, so let us quickly look at the description. So the first part that we talked about was the ovary. So it is the basal enclosed part of carpel. So if you look here, the basal portion is enclosed, I mean it is covered from all end and uh, it is also swollen. So this portion is the ovary. It encloses ovules in it. Now these things which are present inside the ovary, they are very, they play a very important role in the process of sexual reproduction and ovule is one such important thing. So we will talk about ovules also a little later. Ovules are attached to cushion like structure called placenta. So again, we came across a new term. So if you see here, inside the ovary, it is not always necessary that inside the ovary you will have just one ovule. Inside the ovary, you can have many ovules and these ovules will be attached to the ovary with that through a tissue. So that tissue or that cushion like structure is known as placenta. So placenta again plays a very very important role uh, in the carpel. So we will actually see that how placenta can be organized or how can the shape of a placenta vary from one flower to another. So we will talk about that a little later. The next part is the style. The style is nothing but the tube like structure that connects ovary and stigma. So this part is ovary, this part is stigma. So this is style which connects ovary and stigma. And what is stigma? It is located at the exposed end of style. So stigma is at the exposed end. That means we can see stigma. Now if you closely look at a flower, let us suppose if you look at let us suppose if you closely look at a hibiscus flower because there it is very easy to see all these structures. You can very clearly see um, at the very center, at the center you can see a long tube like structure with a small, very small swollen part at the top. So that is the stigma. So the stigma is visible or it is exposed to the external world. But if I tell you, can you see the ovary? It is a little difficult to see the ovary because the ovary is present deep inside at the center of the flower. So it is not exposed, right? So th this is all about ovary style and stigma.
So this acts as the receptive surface for pollen grains. Now, as I told you, for reproduction, it is very much necessary that fusion should take place between the male gametes and the female gametes. For that fusion to take place, the male gametes need to meet the female gametes. Correct? So, the male, where are the male gametes present? The male gametes are present in the stamen. Right? So, the male gametes need to come from the stamen to the carpel. So there has to be a surface which will actually receive the pollen grains. So that surface is stigma. So whenever the pollen grains come from uh, the stamen, this stigma will receive the pollen grain. And then through the tube-like style, the pollen grains will actually reach the ovary. And inside the ovary, we have the ovules. Inside the ovules, we have the egg with which the male gamete will fuse and fertilization will take place. Right? Okay. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.